Okay, hello, here's another beautiful Technics 1200 MK2. This is a vintage Technics in beautiful, beautiful shape. This turntable has never ever been used before. It's a 1985, 1985. It's in pristine conditions. It's actually a mint, it's beautiful. The turntable has been inside a showcase cabinet for years. It, it has been sitting inside a showcase uh, cab like a cabinet, some sort of cabinet with a big, big glass on, on it. And it was only used just for, for showcasing purposes and you know, photo shoots, stuff like that. Beautiful turntable. Uh, this turntable comes with uh, the original rubber mat there's a the gauge and uh, some extra uh, hardware like the tone arm end weight which is this little weight here plus some other uh, little bolts and nuts and you know just to mount your 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 uh, cartridges and onto your head shell and stuff like that also comes with uh, a short M97XE it's pre-mounted on a I pre-mounted it on a Technics head show and it, this is the uh, the short uh, case it's a really really nice case you know it's kind of like a metal it's really nice slick finish like metal you know, so I just wanted to show you that it comes with, uh, you know, I'm, I'm including this, this uh, really nice uh, cartridge to, because this is a pure audio pile turntable, so uh, it deserves a really nice cartridge and to deliver really nice sound, so, <clears throat> excuse me, so let's, let's start now, I'm going to turn it on and show you the whole thing make sure everything's good there's tiny scratches on it I mean just really really tiny scratches nothing major there's a tiny scratches on the dust cover the turntable's been sitting for years I mean it's, it's a 1985 so it's been sitting for for quite quite a long time that's that's uh, that's uh, about uh, 30 30 years or something like that okay so we can we can start now more than 30 years so um, there's a couple tiny 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 little things on the on the pitch I mean the, the pitch has never been used the turntable has never ever been used before and um, what else there's um, some other things that I need to tell you before I start showing you the turntable no that, that's pretty much it there's a couple tiny little scratches on, on on the platter here on this uh, uh, black surface right here just tiny tiny ones and a couple stains on the on the platter just look at that platter that platter is beautiful just look at that just a couple tiny stains just just keep in mind that this is a 34 33 years old turntable and it's in mint mint beautiful conditions Okay, let's start now here. Let me see if I can give you a view here. Just you can check the paint. See how clean, how sleek it is. It's just beautiful. Look at that paint. Look at that. Just look at this. super clean super nice okay let's start here on this corner right here so you can see the corner is beautiful there's no dings or, or anything like that there's no dents it's just really nice look at the, the start and stop buttons and the 33 45 they're perfect just look at that platter just it's in beautiful beautiful shape uh, this is a must to have 
for collectors and audio piles. This is why I am including that uh, audio pile cartridge, you know, because it delivers a really, really nice sound. Okay. This is an Ultra HD camera, like Ultra HD mode, that's, that's what I'm using right now. So you might be able to pick up a lot of things that I'm not able to see with my own eyes. Light works. Really good. Okay, just keeping moving here. This is a rare turntable, this is really, really hard to find. The serial number on these models are usually underneath the turntable, not stamp it on the, on the, on the back of the turntable. It's beautiful, it's in mint condition, just let me show you that pitch. You can you can tell that the pitch has never ever been used before. It's in mint condition. There's two tiny little things here, right 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 here. You see those? Between the four and two and six and four. Six and a half, four and a half. There's two tiny little things. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. I'll show you those pins in a minute because I don't have uh, sun coming from my left side so I'm, I'll turn it around. But let me finish on the corners and I'll show you the pins. Okay, let's move on now. You might those things that, that we're actually uh, being able to see, like these little things. Those are those those are. Uh, things that they, they come from the factory just like that I mean if, if, if I look at the the turntable uh, with my own eyes I mean like not utilizing the camera not looking through the camera I'm not able to spot those little things you know those kind of crevices you know that's how it comes from the factory there's, there's I mean we are actually able to look at those because because of the ultra HD camera mode so and this is the way I, the way I like it you know I like to show absolutely everything because I know there's people that really looking for mint and mint turntables that's a little scratch right there those those tiny scratches are not that pronounced I mean it's they're barely visible This is this is the way I like to do it. I like to show people the real deal. I mean, I know there's people looking for mint turntables in really beautiful shape. 
you know audio piles out there or DJs that are interested in, in, in uh, vintage 80s uh, high five audio pile equipment you know high five audio systems like like this techniques so this is the way I like it I like to show absolutely everything all those things are just just how it comes from the factory that's that's paint that's some paint drops and you know stuff like that just look at this it's just mint beautiful I'm gonna get as close as I can so you can check absolutely everything now uh, let me show you the dust cover the dust cover is in great shape there's there's a couple scratches on it some are more pronounced than others you know and they are visible under certain uh, light conditions and angles and stuff like that you know uh, it's not missing any rubber bumpers there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a yellow color here that's caused by the plane or that's caused by the glue you know because it's 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 a classic vintage model like 34 years old so the glue kind of turns turns out uh, kind of yellow you know some might you might be able to spot some tiny tiny there we go see that's caused by the rubber bumpers I mean that can be wiped off you can wipe it off you know, I don't do anything to my turntables you know if they're dusty I just just uh, dust them off with an electric duster and that's it that's just caused by the rubber bumpers you, you can easily clean those those uh, stains off you know it's been sitting for years I mean 34 years stuff like that stuff like that happens you know see there's no uh, serial number here on the back like the others stamps are in the middle hinges are hinges are great male hinges are good the receptacles are good everything is in fantastic shape comes with that the toner and weight like I've mentioned at the beginning of the video and there's a couple tiny uh, tiny stains here on, on, on the on, on he, right here let me show you the right there those are just tiny stains there's nothing major nothing just little stains um, I'm sure those can be wiped off or something but that's something that you have to do I don't mess with the turntables I don't do anything just look at those uh, uh, look, at, look at those nuts and they're just in fantastic shape just look at this turntable it's just super clean uh, here's a little black dot look beautiful tone arm it's just super super clean it's really nice look at that there we go this is the way I like it I mean I like to show you absolutely everything every single angle you know This is a beautiful, beautiful turntable, vintage turntable. Okay, now let me let me try to catch those uh, pins inside. They're clean. They're really nice. Okay, now this angle here. Just look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? Really clean turntable. You know, mint. Let me see if I can catch those pins. No maybe this side there we go there we go
there we go nice paints really clean there we go really nice really clean it's in beautiful shape let me go to the other side and then I'll show you the cables cables are great let me show you a little bit of the platter now right here I like to do this angle here so there's there's a couple stains like I've mentioned on this surface here because the, the the rubber mat, it's 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 it's, it's keep in mind that it, this is the thick rubber mat, you know, the one that came originally on all the 80s and vintage models. It's not the slim one. It's the thick the thick rubber mat. So there's a couple stains and tiny scratches that I can spot here. Let me show you. There's one right there. See that? Those are little tiny scratches and tiny stains. Look at this platter. It's just fantastic. Beautiful. Really, really nice. Look at that. That's fantastic. The on and off uh, power button. Look at that. Really nice. Okay, let's move on. I apologize for all these uh, hard movements and you know. start here and then really slowly I'm going to show you this side right there is a little ding that's just the high comes from the factory because those things are full of paint It might have, it might, it might have a, a couple, it might have a couple scratches inside the 45. You know that that little circle with the 45 adapter uh, rests rests at. Here, there's a couple tiny stains here, and some sort of kind of like a ding. Some sort of, some sort of kind of like a ding some sort of ding let me show you here, it might have a, a couple of scratches or something like that, it, they always have scratches in here most of them, yeah, I can spot one right there oh, but that's, that's just, that's from just how it comes from the factory, yeah, those are factory imperfections I'm 100% sure about that yeah, those are factory imperfections. Yeah. Okay, and let me show you the other side here. Okay, all right now I'm gonna show you uh, how it uh, stars and stops. It stars and stops pretty good. Really nice on time now. 45. We're gonna do 45 now. really good 
as well. Uh, keep in mind that when you use the the thick rubber mat, you're going to have to adjust the brake because that the the the, the rubber mat's going to add a lot of weight on on the platter. So you you might have to adjust the weight the the the, the brake. So if you want the, the 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 platter to stop really really on time and really accurately, so you have to uh, modify and adjust the brake. If not, uh, if you don't mind, that's fine. Uh, let me show you the um, the pitch. You know, pitch works fantastic. That pitch have never been used before. It's just in fantastic shape. Okay, you sh check on the dots. Mm, check the dots out and see how the pitch is working really nice. We're going um, minus eight, plus eight. It's really fast, it's really responsive. Minus eight. I'm locking in the middle right now and plus eight. Minus eight. Plus eight. Nice. Really nice pitch. Really nice turntable. It's in beautiful, beautiful shape. And let me show you the uh, tone arm. Just bear with me for one second here. I'm gonna balance the uh, the tone arm. And just bear with me for one second. I'm gonna make sure that uh, the toner is fully functional so I'm gonna balance it out uh, and then I'll show you that in a minute I'm just creating a floating point this is what's called a floating point and I'm gonna show you how it floats it floats really nice that oh I'm sorry that was too much. That, you know I'm going to show you that the anti skating works good. It's really nice and responsive. Comes back. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's, let's bring it back. See how it's really responsive and goes back to the center. Just with a tiny movement goes back. Floats nice. That's a really, really nice anti skating. Let's just lock it now. And let me find some weight here. I'm going to add a gram and a half. I have an extra weight in the back. I'm going to show you how it uh, tracks down. How it, tr how it tracks down a record so everything's fine. Okay, just uh, let me show you how I, I'm going to use the lever here, show you that as well. Beautiful, nice and smooth, tracks down really nice.
this is the actual uh, cartridge and, and cartridge and, uh, and head shell that you will receive. Okay, the turntable is fully functional, it's in fantastic shape, it's a beautiful vintage turntable, comes with the uh, original rubber mat, comes with the head shell, with a short uh, cartridge and the gauge and uh, the tone arm end weight. series turntable for a series audio pile it's beautiful beautiful turntable if you have any questions just please do not hesitate to, to ask any any questions don't do not hesitate to contact me and have a wonderful day take care